Okay, so once again uh, welcome, right? So let us start with a new topic of uh, this unit number two, that is a steady state error. Okay, so uh, now uh, whenever the system is there, whenever we are analyzing the system, we should always concentrate on the error of the um, system, right? Or uh, in other words, we can say uh, we should concentrate on how the how accurate the system is. Okay, so uh, like, like see both error and uh, accuracy goes in hand in hand right for example if you are saying system is less error means you can say that the system is more accurate right if it is uh, having more error means you are saying that the system is less accurate okay uh, so um, what is the steady state error steady state error is the value of the error signal when t tends to infinity right um, so steady state error is major of system accuracy right uh, this uh, error arises from okay so uh, this error depends on what it depends on the type of the input it depends on the type of the system and um, it may also depend on the non linear components which are used in the system right okay now uh, see whenever the system is at steady state right what is error error is nothing but uh, what is the actual output you are getting and what is the expected output so difference between the actual and expected is nothing but error right okay so as we are finding the error when the system is stable that is in steady state since it is called as your steady state error simple hai. okay abhi dekhe, error steady state error signal nikalne ke liye, what we are doing we are um, taking again a negative feedback system now see here uh, yahan par, what is error signal this input minus this signal right so what is this signal this signal is nothing but this is the gain of feedback network and here what signal is there here c is there so output will be ch here something c is missing right so consider here as ch so what is your error signal it will be plus r minus ch so it will be e will be r minus ch this is your error signal okay now uh, so error signal will be r minus ch now with this E as an input to G, what will be the output of the G? Output of the G will be E into G. Okay, so C will be equal to E into G. So E, I can uh, write it as R minus E G H, and then this term E G H, you transfer it to left hand side, it will be, uh, and then take uh, E common, it will be 1 plus G H, and then uh, move it to the denominator. So E will be equal to R upon 1 plus G H. Now see. This uh, we are uh, finding in uh, S domain, right? So E of S will be equal to R of S upon 1 plus G of S into H of S. Now, if we want to find the error signal in time domain, what we will do? We will just take the inverse Laplace transform. So uh, E of T I can get by using the Laplace inverse of R of S upon 1 plus G of S in G of S into H of S, right? So once you get E of S, so you can find E of infinity. Yes. So what is uh, E of infinity? limit t tends to infinity e of t right so what is the value of this signal when the system is in stable state right means steady state hence uh, this value is nothing but it is also called as steady state error right so uh, this substitute the value of t as infinity so it will be equal to e of infinity and this is called as final value of the signal but by using the final value theorem in laplace transform the same thing can be written as limit s tends to zero s into e of s right so mm, henceforward ess i will not use in time domain because again i need to take the laplace transform and then find e of t and then substitute t is equal to infinity we are having the transfer function that is in s domain right so why not to use this formula this will make the thing simple and easier so e of s is nothing e ess is nothing but limit s tends to infinity s into e of s so this we will use in uh, our mm, further okay so let us uh, now see type number of the system right now see type number of the system i will just read the definition uske baad mein fir uske upar thoda uh, explore karenge hum so type number is nothing but specified for loop transfer function what is loop transfer function loop transfer function is nothing but product of g into h okay dekhe humne isse pehle kya dekha tha order of the system right control system so order ke liye hame kya lag lagta tha transfer function right यहाँ पर लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन लगेगा वहां पर ट्रांसफर फंक्शन लगता था उसके डिनोमिनेटर का हाइस्ट पावर जो देखते थे हम एस का दैट वाज योर ऑर्डर ऑफ द सिस्टम सो टाइप नंबर ऑफ द सिस्टम यहाँ पर क्या होगा इट इज नथिंग बट 
the number of poles of the open loop transfer function lying at the origin right that decides type number of the system okay so let us suppose g g of s into h of s again it is nothing but your rational function that is uh, numerator polynomial divided by denominator polynomial abhi dekhe ek simple funda hai numerator ka polynomial hai to uske roots niklenge right so the roots of the numerator polynomial are called as zeros and the roots of the denominator polynomial are called as poles right okay so uh, i can uh, express the numerator polynomial as s plus z1 s plus z2 and dot 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 where z1 z2 are the roots of the numerator polynomial they are also called as zeros right and s raised to n s plus p1 and s plus p2 right so uh, this are also called as your denominator uh, polynomial roots of the denominator polynomial p1 p2 are the roots of the denominator polynomial and these are also called as your poles okay uh, what is k k is nothing but your constant and then see if uh, in s plane right in s plane if you try to plot the values of the pole okay so uh, how many poles will be at origin let us suppose that um, s is nothing but yes uh, s from here value of s is how many poles will be at the origin so there will be n pole, poles which will be lying at the origin okay so n is number of poles at the origin so the n also represents what is the type number of the system uh, yeah so let us from this we can uh, uh, start with next topic that is static error constant okay now static error constant when the control system is excited with standard input signal standard input signal your test signal the steady state error may be zero constant or infinite right so there are only three possibilities either the error is zero or it is having some constant value or it may be infinite right so the value of steady state error depends on type number of the system and what is the input signal okay so let us analyze the systems right what is the, let us analyze the uh, errors right so there are three types right um, three types okay so one is your uh, there are three types of constant one is your positional error constant i can say kp right it is defined as limit s tends to 0 g in g of s in g of s into h of s second is your velocity error constant that is kv it is nothing but equal to limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s right and third is your acceleration error constant ka it will be limit s tends to 0 s square g of s into h of s right so where uh, kp kv and ka are nothing but it are called as your static error constants right uh, so uh, let us uh, see first case steady state okay so hence for uh, iske baad mein hum teen cases dekhenge right so on all the three cases the procedure is same right so just concentrate on one procedure you will get all the other procedures easily okay so we know that es uh, so this topic is what steady state error when input is a unit state signal right mm, so uh, as uh, error depends on the input also so we will analyze for input signal so ess is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into e so e of s yes this we know so e of s uh, we know that r of s upon 1 plus g of s into h of s now see which signal is there unit state so r of t will be equal to u of t so can we find r of s yes r of s is nothing but equal to 1 by s now see now e of ess we will find okay so what is ess ess is nothing but limit s tends to 0 s into u of s e of s is nothing but r of s upon 1 plus g of s into h of s r of s is what 1 by s right now see this s and s will get cancelled and this will be 1 upon 1 plus g of s into h of s now we know um, uh, this limit can be shifted here so this will be 1 upon 1 plus limit s tends to 0 g of s into h of s and we know what is limit s tends to 0 g of s into h of s it is, is nothing but your kp so ess can be called as 1 upon 1 plus kp okay now let us say type 0 system okay so type 0 system is what e of s is nothing but 1 upon 1 plus kp kp is nothing but limit s tends to 0 g of s into h of s right so k s plus 1 s plus 2 uh, sorry s plus z1 s plus z2 divided by s0 why 0 because your type 0 system is there so it will be uh, now 
just substitute the value of s is equal to 0 here. So it will be k into z1 plus z2 divided by p1 plus p2 and so on, right? k is a constant, z1, z2 are constant, p1, p2 are constant. So this complete thing will be constant. So we can say kp is equal to constant. So ESS is nothing but 1 upon 1 plus kp. So this is constant. So this term will be constant. So ESS will be constant. So for type 0 system, your ESS will be constant, right? Okay, type 1 system, let us calculate the same thing. So, in K, uh, for type 1, kp is nothing but limit s raised to 0, g of s into h of s, same thing. So, it will be k, s plus z1, s plus z2 divided by s1. Now, here s1 will be there, right? And s plus p1 and so on, okay? Uh, just the change is that s1 is there, okay? Now, you substitute s tends to 0 here. So, it will be Z, k into z1 plus into z2, this will be in the numerator, but in the denominator will be 0 into some p1 into p2, into p3 and so on. So, denominator may kya gaya? 0 gaya. So, it, it may be something 1 divided by denominator and 1, sorry, 1 divided by 0 and 1 by 0 is nothing but your infinity. So, <coughs> ESS will be 1 upon 1 plus kp, kp value is infinity. So, 1 plus infinity is infinity. So, 1 by infinity will be 0. So, for time point system, ESS will be 0, right? So, this was, this was ESS for type 0 system.